Hello and welcome to the Library Connection. I'm Summer Newman Ernest and joining me today is Miss Lauren Leitze. She is the 2015 Sylacaugas Outstanding Teen. We're so excited to have you here today. We want to hear about everything going on in your life and of course the upcoming Alabama's Outstanding Teen Pageant which will be held in just a matter of weeks. Yes, Thanks so much for joining us Lauren. You're welcome. I'm so happy to be here. Well we're happy to have such a lovely beauty here with us <laughs> on TV and I just want to get Get to know you kind of questions. How long have you lived in Sylacauga? I've lived in Sylacauga my whole life of 17 years <laughs> uh, with my parents. I'm an only child. So am I. Wow. <laughs> And I, have, and I have an only child too, so I think yes. that's great. <laughs> and so you've gone to Sylacauga schools the whole time? Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> well. Sylacauga City Schools is an awesome program. It really is. I'm a graduate there as well. And so you're a junior now, Yes, right? ma'am. About to be a senior. And so I know you do a lot outside of the school, but tell me about some of your school activities. I'm involved in many different activities at school. I'm a member of the National Honor Society, Key Club, Future Business Leaders of America, the FOCUS program, host of Future Health Professionals. I'm also a junior class representative, and I'm also the captain of the Darlin' Devil Majorette line. So you're not busy at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, besides the school portion, which keeps you in the junior, in the honor society. And so I know you even just had majorette tryouts again, and yes, so you'll be captain again for the second year in a row? Yes, ma'am. This will be my third year on the line. That's great. Well, I was a majorette too. I see so many similarities, and so I love seeing the halftime program. I know there's going to be a lot of changes coming up with yes. uh, Mr. Simpkins retiring this year, which is sad to see it's the end of that. It's, legacy. I know the Simpkins legacy has been awesome and, and it's bittersweet. Right, it really is. Definitely. Well, I'm sure somebody will step into those big <laughs> shoes and fill them well. And so, with Majorette, what does that involve? Uh, is it just during football season or is there anything else that you have to do? Summertime activities? With well, it? Majorette, when people hear Majorette, they just think football games, football games, performance, halftime. A lot goes into Majorette. We have band camp every July for a week actually two weeks. We learn our routines the first week and then the second week we put it on the field. And so that's how we make the halftime show so great because of the two weeks that we spend during the summer. And we also sometimes go to basketball games. We don't perform, but we cheer in the stands. Well, that's wonderful. And I know that you guys traveled some as yes. well, that you've taken trips. Of course, we see you in the Christmas mm -hmm. parades and all the parades, but what were some of the trips that you've done recently with the band? We usually take a trip every two years. And this year we went to Chicago mm -hmm. and we marched in the Magnificent Mile of Lights Festival. It was amazing. We got to experience the fir the earliest snow in Chicago in a hundred and something years. Oh wow, fun! Was, but I know <laughs> probably excited to get back home too. We were. It was very cold. It was a lot different from here. Definitely. And it was gorgeous though. It really That's was wonderful. Just to give you the opportunity to yes. travel as well. Well, I know we're primarily here to talk about your title as Miss Lacaga's Outstanding Teen. How long have you been participating in that program or in the pageant system? Tell me a little bit about the history for okay. you. Okay. Um, I, I was young Miss Sylacauga and young Miss Saldi County. That was how I got started. And this is my first title in the Outstanding Teen Program. Um, I won this title in February of 2015. And it's been an awesome ride. I love this organization. The Miss America organization is a great organization, organization for young girls. And this, I just have to give a shout out to my directors, Mr. Jim Armstrong, Ms. Kara Nelson and Ms. Pam Landers for their help throughout well, this journey. I know that they work hard and have a passion for it. And, and for some people who are familiar with the Miss Alabama, Miss America system, the Outstanding Team program is relatively new. When I was coming up, uh, it wasn't available, but it's a wonderful way because you guys get to then go on yes. and compete at the state and then possibly the national level. Mm -hmm. And so it's starting you out even younger, yes. getting you prepared. And so I think it's just a wonderful opportunity uh, beyond the many awards and scholarships, mm -hmm. which we'll get to, is just to build character and self-esteem. When you're participating in the Miss Alabama Outstanding Team Program, what are the different areas that you have to compete in? There are five different areas. And first, the girls will partake in an interview, private interview for eight minutes with the judges. Also, they will have to answer an on-stage question. They do not know what the question is. It could be about anything. Um, most of the time, it's regarding their platform. And the second, I mean the third, is talent. They have to show off their abilities. 
and then they have to do fitness and also evening wear. So that's a lot, <laughs> making sure that you're well-rounded. And so I know it does start with the interview. And in, in the interview process, that's just, a, for me anyway, it was so helpful because by the time yes. I was going to college where you're having to interview for different organizations or jobs, you've been through so many, yes. it's a piece of cake. And so it, it really is. is a life skill, I think, that's so uh, in demand and benefits you so much. And so it's not just what's your favorite color kind of <laughs> questions, right? How no, do you prepare for interviews? Well, you have to be up to date on the current events going on, and especially with this presidential election coming up this year, you definitely have to know all about that and the debates because you never know what you're going to be asked. What they're going to ask you. <laughs> so you're definitely reading the newspapers yes, and watching the news and keeping up with everything. And I think that's important because as a representative, you want to be well educated mm -hmm. and know what's going on in your city and state yes. and even nation. And so you have the interview and that's where it starts. And then the on stage question, yes. <laughs> which I think for some people in the audience, they think, oh, it's not a big deal, but it's oh, totally it's, different when you're up huge, there. That's actually the most nerve wracking part, in my opinion. Right. Because the interview I'm fine with because it's just one on one with the judges. Sure. However, the on stage question is in front of a thousand people. Right. And you don't know what they're going to ask. And you don't ask. know what they're going to ask. It <laughs> yes. really is. You have to be so quick on your feet. And so I know that that can be nerve wracking. And then, of course, one of my favorite parts is talent. So yes. tell me about your talent. I, uh, I baton twirl for my talent. I've been taking dance for 14 years from so Southern Dance and Performing Arts now, but it was Dance and Performing Arts Company for 13 years. But I incorporate my dance skills into my baton twirling as my talent. Well, you are an amazing twirler. And being Thank a major you. aunt, knowing a little bit, I know that the difficulty level really is amazing. And so with the Dance and Performing Arts and Southern Dance, that that's now the joint venture of yes. Miss Heather Adair and mm -hmm. Mandy Reams, and that they actually are under the umbrella of SAFE, which is yes, exciting because I know there's a lot of new things going on with the studio and them able to offer more to the community. But 13 years of dance, that's a lot. <laughs> You're only, how old are you? I'm 17. 17, so yeah, you started young. Well, and it shows. And what I love to see is anytime you're on stage, you just shine. You Thank really you. have such a wonderful Thank presence, you. and it's just a joy to watch you. We're going to take a quick break, okay. Ryan, and when we come back, we're going to continue to talk about your reign and the upcoming pageant. Okay. This month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month from A.H. Watwood Elementary School. Congratulations, Erica Ogle from A.H. Watwood Elementary School. This Star Student of the Month was brought to you by TV 47. Tune in to Daybreak Weekdays at 6.30 a.m. for your Star Student of the Month. In Central Alabama, 9,100 kids face going to bed hungry tonight. Hunger doesn't take a day off. There are kids right here, right now, that don't know where they'll get their next meal. Join Alabama Childhood Food Solutions and help put an end to childhood hunger in Central Alabama. Make a difference. Donate today, by mail or online, to help ACFS feed hungry kids. There's no better time to share than now. Their next meal could come from you. This month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month from B.B. Comer Elementary School is brought to you by Glenn Smith Toyota of Sylacauga. Congratulations, Hannah Weber, a fifth grader at B.B. Comer Elementary. This Star Student of the Month was brought to you by Glenn Smith Toyota of Sylacauga and TV 47. Hello and welcome back to the Library Connection. I'm Summer Newman Ernest. Joining me, Miss Lauren Leitze, who is 2015 Miss Silicaga's Outstanding Teen. We've been getting to know her more, just a lovely young lady, all her many activities and honors at Silicaga High School, where you're a mm -hmm. junior. Yes, ma'am. One more year there. And of course, we've been talking about your competition and competing yes, in the mm -hmm. Outstanding Teen program, which actually goes on. She'll be in the Alabama's Outstanding Teen pageant 
in just a few weeks. Uh, and then if you win there, you would go on to America. Yes, ma'am. Outstanding <laughs> team pageant. What is the age range of the ladies competing in that the, program? The outstanding team, the age ranges are 13 to 17. Oh, wow. So that's a, it's <laughs> that's a variety. <laughs> it is when you think about a little girl in middle school all the way up. That's a lot. And so I know that there's girls that have done it many years, correct? Yes. There are some people that have competed in it every year that they can. And it's it's just for the younger girls a great experience, right. an opportunity to get involved, and it helps them in the future, like we talked about earlier with job interviews in the future. Definitely. And so when they get there, they are well prepared. I'm sure. We were talking a little bit about your talent. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you said you're captain of the majorette line, the Darling Devil majorettes, for the second year in a row. <laughs> uh, so you twirl, yes, but you have also incorporated your dance skills, and I know that the recent uh, 2016 Miss Sylacauga pageant, which was just held in January, that you actually danced yes, for uh, a talent or for entertainment. And what kind of dance did you perform? I performed a ballet dance on point. <laughs> which I love. <laughs> yes, ma'am. It's gorgeous. I love that type and of dance. And the song. It was I Dreamed a Dream from the play Les Miserables. Oh, uh, yes, which I love that song. It was just beautiful. And like I said, you just shine on stage. Thank you have you. such stage presence. It's something that I think you're just born with, if you have it or not. And it's just drawn to you. When I see you on stage, I love to see you even in dance recitals with your dance Thank studio you. that you do a great job. And so we talked about the interview, the onstage question. Mm -hmm talent and then evening gown yes uh, which is lovely to see on the evening gowns can you give us any hint about your evening gown or is it a secret it's not a secret <laughs> i'll tell you um it's blue uh pretty blue is my color I um it. it's chiffon <gasps> it's flowy pretty and it has cap sleeves oh nice well you you look beautiful in anything <laughs> i know you. it'll be gorgeous and so then you have fitness, which is, mm -hmm. I guess, something sort of different because people are used to Miss America that there's a swimsuit mm -hmm. competition, but there's not a swimsuit no, for you guys, which I think is better yes. and more age appropriate. What does the fitness, in, what, what does that entail? The fitness, it just shows someone's coordination, their physical fitness, and it, we have to do jumping jacks, crunches, push-ups, oh but it's just a routine with all of those skills tied into it to show one's coordination. And so is it a routine you make up yourself, or how does that work? No, ma'am, they make it up for you, and they'll send out a video of Miss Alabama doing it, oh, and wow. so you can prepare for it, because they don't teach it at rehearsals. At rehearsals. So you, have you already received the video yes, of it? Okay, so you've been practicing. And so do you do it as a group on stage, or how does that work? No, ma'am, we come, in, come on one. one. Okay. At one, one at a time. So. And do it. And so, and then what is the attire? What are your clothes for that? They provide us with its uh, a spandex type material. Right, it's, right. So you can move and exercise. Yes. <laughs> so you have to be physically fit, which I think is important. You know, maybe more so than walking around in a swimsuit yes. that you actually <laughs> see that you're physically fit. And I know competing in the Junior Miss program, they do something similar, which I appreciate, and I think that's a good way to see your physical fitness. And so a lot of things go into being named Miss Sulacaga's Outstanding Teen, and I know that you've had a wonderful year. It's kind of unusual because you've been in this title for a year now, right? Yes, ma'am. And then, but then you compete in March, and so tell me about the state program coming up. Well, Miss Sulacaga's Outstanding Teen is a carryover pageant to the Miss Alabama Outstanding Team because I have already given up my title as Miss Silicaga's Outstanding Team. Right. But the Miss Alabama's Outstanding Team pageant will be held the weekend of March 5th and 6th here in Silicaga at B.B. Comer High School. And girls, 42 girls from all over the state of Alabama will come to Silicaga to compete for the title of Miss Alabama's Outstanding Team. Which I think is wonderful in so many ways. We're so lucky to have it in Silicaga yes. because it is a huge statewide. I mean, people get come from all over, <laughs> like you said. Not only the girls that are participating and their parents, but there's the people that work with the pageants mm -hmm. and families members from all over so it's a wonderful opportunity for us to highlight our city yes. and so I know the library plays a role in mm -hmm. that because you had your orientation yes, at the library in January and what did you do during that day? At the orientation we got to meet everyone all the contestants and get to know them better but we also got the final details about the pageant all of the forms that we have to <laughs> fill out the the many forms that we have to fill out, the fitness details, the what to wear. We also got the theme. Oh, what is the theme? Um, boots, gowns, and crowns. 
Oh, <laughs> boots, yeah. gowns, and crepes. So will there be boots worn? Or yes, ma'am. Like, Opening number. Cowboy boots. Kind of, okay, okay. Cute. It's, well, that's neat. It kind of ties in uh, the year that I won Miss Silicaga's Outstanding Teen. That was kind of the theme for the pageant. Right. So it's kind of funny how that worked out. That's great. And so I know the library is so happy to host uh, the orientation and to have all those ladies here. And I think it's neat, too, to be able to meet so many young people that, you know, you might go to college with or encounter later in life. And so it's making friendships yes. as well uh, as the opportunity to compete for scholarships. Lauren, we're going to take one more break. Okay. And when we come back, I want to hear more about the state program and everything to do with that. This month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month from Indian Valley Elementary School is brought to you by King's Pawn and Jewelry and Tax Service. Congratulations, Rowan Scripps from Indian Valley Elementary School. This Star Student of the Month was brought to you by King's Pawn and Jewelry and Tax Service and TV 47. In central Alabama, 9,100 kids face going to bed hungry tonight. Hunger doesn't take a day off. There are kids right here, right now, that don't know where they'll get their next meal. Join Alabama Childhood Food Solutions and help put an end to childhood hunger in central Alabama. Make a difference. Donate today, by mail or online, to help ACFS feed hungry kids. There's no better time to share than now. Their next meal could come from you. This month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month from Munford Elementary School. Congratulations, Macy Waits from Munford Elementary School. This Star Student of the Month was brought to you by TV 47. Tune in to Daybreak Weekdays at 6.30 a.m. for your Star Student of the Month. Welcome back to the Library Connection. I'm Summer Newman Ernest. Joining me is Miss Lauren Leitze, the 2015 Miss Silicaga's Outstanding Teen. She's just been a joy to talk to, and we're talking about the exciting state program, which is coming up March, what were the dates? 5th and 6th. And it is here in Silicaga. So the best news is that you can come and support her easily because tickets, you can just buy tickets at the door. Yes, ma'am, and it's general admission. Okay, so. that's wonderful. So you're not worried about your seat or anything like that. And where is it held? It's held at B.B. Comer High School. Okay, and that's a wonderful auditorium and facility. I know that's nice. And so there's actually three different performances. So mm -hmm. on the March 5th, which is a Saturday, there's a 2 o'clock and a mm -hmm. 7 o'clock. And so will you be doing different things? That? How does that yes, work? Yes, ma'am. At orientation, we drew numbers. Oh. What's and your number? My number is 22. Okay. We have a group A and a group B because there's 42 contestants and it's we divide those up. So I'm the first one in group B. Um, on s Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock, I will do my talent. And then at Saturday evening at 7, I will do my fitness and on-stage question and evening gown. Okay, and so then when do you have your interview? I'll have my interview early Saturday morning. That's going to be a long day. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, and I know especially for those ladies coming from out of town. And so then on Sunday, there's a 2 o'clock in the mm -hmm. afternoon performance, and what happens at that performance? At the 2 o'clock on Sunday, the top 15 are announced first thing, and then they will do um, their on stage question and then the top 10 are announced and they'll do their talent. Wow, so it's just like the Miss Alabama pageant pretty much where the finals are even Miss America, how they mm -hmm. do on TV now. That's so exciting. And so I know along with all of the different areas of competition, you have a platform. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what yours is and about it. My platform is scoliosis awareness, bent but not broken. I'm very passionate about my platform because I live with scoliosis. I was diagnosed in the fifth grade at my very first scoliosis screening, and I was terrified. I was right. terrified because I had no one to tell me what scoliosis was. Right. So the past two years, I have gone to the fifth grade class at Pinecrest Elementary and talked to them about the importance of scoliosis and how I've dealt with it. Right. And so the purpose of my platform is to inform the community and the people with scoliosis that just because your spine is bent does not mean that your self-esteem has to be broken. 
So funny. I had scoliosis too. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but it was one of those things my mom sort of noticed early on, younger, even before the screening, and we sort of got it corrected. But I think it is something that people don't know mm -hmm. a whole lot about, and, and that it's something that, you know, what you do the bend over, right? Yes, to check your back. And so kids might not know a whole lot about it. And so you were going into the local schools mm -hmm. here in Sylacauga and talking to them? Yes, ma'am. That's great. And I know that they love to see you probably come in in the crown and <laughs> everybody to look up to you. And so when you do a platform do you have to, I mean do you just talk about it in the interview or how does that work throughout the year you just try to do more community activities with it yes ma'am the platform is the thing that you promote the most and I've gone to the fifth graders and I've also sold bracelets with my platform name on them for a dollar oh wow so to help support and raise money for the National Scoliosis Foundation that's wonderful and I think that's so neat too that to know that all of you are out there doing something that you're passionate about and giving back to the community and causes that you're really passionate about so that's wonderful as well and so I I guess that if you did win Alabama's mm -hmm. Outstanding Team then you would be able to promote that yes. statewide I would get to go to the all of the elementary schools in the state of Alabama hopefully right and promote my platform Wow that's so exciting yes. well so next year would you be still be in this division or would you actually be able to be in the Miss Sylacauga division or Miss Alabama? I, this is my last year. It is? It is. This is my first and last year competing <laughs> in the Miss Alabama Outstanding Teen Pageant. And next year, the age ranges for the state, for the Miss State Pageant is 18 to 24, I believe. So, so would you qualify then? Or yes, you, Okay. Oh, good. Okay. So hopefully we'll see you then in a different, yeah, maybe even a bigger stage. <laughs> I know. But like I said, we are excited to have everything in Sylacauga and all of those people coming in, seeing our library, seeing our facilities, and walking around downtown, that it's a wonderful way. And I'm sure they're going to be turning to you, Lauren, where do we need to eat? Or where do we do <laughs> yes. this and that? that I've already had that happen. <laughs> yes, ma'am. At orientation, oh, wow. one of my good friends that I've made through this. Um, she texted me and she was asking where's a good place to eat after orientation and right. we ate together at Marble City Grill. Right. So. And, then, and then there's other girls from this area that will actually be competing as well. Mm -hmm. um, who else is there that's in this area? Um, Caitlin McTeer okay. um, and Annie Osment and Emma Wright. Oh, wow. So we have, I guess, four then local girls. So even more reason for you to come out and to support you guys. And it's just entertaining. It's mm -hmm. wonderful to see it. That's why I love the Miss Sylacauga pageant, just to see all the talent and the evening gowns and the amazing poise at mm -hmm. this age. It really is um, just wonderful to see. And I think it's such a testament because it's a lot of hard work. It is. <laughs> and I know that, like I said, you have so many other activities in school and just how do you even get your work done, your homework done and your grades up? I mean, I, I just have a schedule. I right. have an agenda and I have to write down my life story in it <laughs> <laughs> to keep up with everything that I do because if not, I'm likely to forget something. Right, so. right. Well, and what a you know awesome teaching you responsibility that that's another yes. skill set that's important. And so, looking ahead, I know you still have a whole another year of high school. But mm -hmm. what would be your future plans if you could, you know, predict and say what you want to do? My future plans right now is to pursue a master's degree in nursing and eventually become a pediatric nurse practitioner. Mm -hmm. And I also want to pursue my dream of becoming a college majorette. Well, I think that that would be easily done if anybody's seen you twirl. And so do you have any specific colleges that you're particularly interested in or looking at? Yes, ma'am. Right now, I'm highly interested in Troy University. Troy's a wonderful school, and I know that they actually provide a lot of scholarships yes. uh, for the pageant system. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the main reasons many people don't even realize that you participate mm -hmm. in Outstanding Teen and in Miss America system is to get scholarship yes. money. Yes, the Miss America system, one of their main goals is to provide young girls with that opportunity to pursue their educational goals through scholarships and grants. Right, and I know even when you get into then the Miss Alabama portion, I mean, sometimes it's girls that are in graduate school, mm -hmm. and so they're going ahead and getting their nurse practitioner yes. degrees, and so it helps too, because I know that it does take a lot of money and effort on your mm -hmm. part, and so I think we are so grateful here in Sylacauga to have so many sponsors and people supporting the Sylacauga Arts Council, uh, giving scholarships, because I know that every bit helps. Yes. And it the, because it's not just the gowns and everything, it's mm -hmm. your dance lessons and training and mm -hmm. interview and all of those things. A lot that goes into yes. it. 
a lot goes into it that people don't realize. Right, <laughs> right. right. Well, it shows up on stage the time that you've given. Thank now, you. if there were anything that we could ask, maybe little known facts about you, is there anything that we haven't covered or something? Well, like I said earlier, I'm an only child. Right. Um, also, I love to hunt. Oh, that, that's <laughs> I, surprising. I love pageants, but I love to hunt as well. So, so what kind of hunting? All kinds. I love to deer hunt, rabbit hunt, no. anything. Yes. So is that, how did that get started? I can't even imagine. My grandfather, who's one of my biggest supporters in everything that I do, at a young age, he I, during the summer I would stay with him and he works at a farm. Right. And I would stay with him and we'd go out to the farm and since then I've just had a love and passion for nature and outdoors. So. That's so great. I think that's it. My uh, dad was a veterinarian and we grew up, you know, mm -hmm. cows, showing cows and all this kind of stuff. And so you see these pageant girls and you think, oh, I know. and I just, you know, I just assumed be out there in your cowboy boots and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting. I know. And so if you had to say a favorite thing about Sylacauga, since you are representing mm -hmm. our city and you said you've lived here your whole life, what would be something, one of your favorite things about the town? Well, that's a hard question because Sylacauga is such a great community to live in. It is. I have many different favorite things about it. Um, other than the fact that Sylacauga has the whitest and purest marble. Yes, it does. I would have to say that my favorite thing would have to be the Sylacauga City School System. Well, It's such an awesome system and it provides the students with talented educators to educate them for um, things that they need to pursue their educational goals and career goals. So. Well, I think, and we see you know, time and time again, so many wonderful graduates and go on to do amazing things. Uh, we had Mary Kelly Cantrell recently, you know, another mm -hmm. graduate, and she's doing wonderful things at mm -hmm. Troy. And so it's exciting to see you guys as you come through here and what you do, and then hopefully you'll come back like I did. Yes. You, know, you might not think that you want to move back, but it's one of the best decisions that I've made is raising my family here, and I, I love the city as well. And so Lauren, we wanna go back over the details again. Mm -hmm. In just a few weeks, you will have the opportunity to see her compete at the Miss Alabama's Outstanding Teen Pageant, which is actually held here in Sylacauga, B.B. Comer High School, and those dates? March 5th and 6th, that's a Saturday and Sunday. Okay, March 5th and 6th, uh, there's a two o'clock and a seven o'clock performance on that Saturday, yes. March 5th, and then a two o'clock on March 6th, which is the Sunday, and tickets are available at the door. Yes, ma'am, it's general admission. General admission, I think it's $20 mm -hmm. uh, to get in, and so we said there's a lot of local girls that are participating, so they would love your support, uh, and also just to show that our city supports yes. these efforts and to have a great crowd, and, and if you see people that weekend out and about or make sure that you're friendly to yes. them and welcome to the city and hopefully they'll come back and uh, visit once again. Lauren, we are so excited. Can't wait to see what happens at the pageant and hope to see you again. Hopefully it's Miss Sylacauga, Miss Alabama, wonderful things. And of course, yes. this fall, we're going to see you on the field <laughs> marching uh, with the Darlin Devil Majorettes. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.